Hi everyone, today we are going to talk about rectangular coordinate system. But again, before we do any of those, make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified when I release new videos. What is the rectangular coordinate system or this is also known as Cartesian plane? So this is just a flat surface of a plane defined by two perpendicular number lines. You have a vertical line and a horizontal line. Now this vertical line is known as your y-axis. This is y-axis and the horizontal line is your x axis okay um you the point where the where the two lines intersect is known as your origin now take note that the numbers on the right of your x-axis if you're on the right of the x-axis uh, uh, i mean of the origin the numbers on the right are positive the numbers on the left are negative the numbers down below are negative the numbers up here are all positive okay what do you mean by coordinates so these are just ordered pairs okay let me just write that you have coordinates they are ordered pairs where in the first number that appears that's your x coordinate and your the second number that appears is your y coordinate. For example, you have 4, negative 2. What we want to do is try to locate where this point is. So first, we will look at 4. Okay. So this means, remember, that the first number, you always look at your x-axis. So you locate 4 on the x-axis. So where is that? It's here, right? Okay. Next, negative Two, you locate negative 2 on the y-axis. And that is here. And then, what will you do now? So, you draw a vertical line here. And a horizontal line here. The point of intersection, this is now your point for negative 2. Understand? Let me erase that part. Okay. But suppose you do not have labels like this. So what you do is another way to look at this is let me erase that. So what you need to do first is go from you always start from the origin. So let me write that. Start from the origin. Again, the origin is just this point here on, in the center. What you do is go 4 units to the right. If it's positive, so remember for x, if it's positive, then it's to the right. If it's negative, it's to the left. And then for your y-coordinate, if it's positive, you go up. If it's negative, you go down. Alright? So, you have 4 units to the right. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, and then because you have negative 2, you go 2 units down. 1, 2. So that's also another method. Understand? Yeah, we just did 2 units down. Okay, what about your origin? What will be the coordinates of your origin? Remember that your origin is here. But if you're already here, you no longer need to go left nor right. Correct? So that means it is just zero zero okay because you're on the x it's zero on the y is zero okay now what i have here are points and we want to do the reverse um process of what we just did earlier so this time around we given our points we want to get the um coordinates of our point okay so let us start. Let me call this A. This is B and this is C. Alright. What will be the coordinates of point A? So point A, what I will do is I will look at the number on the x-axis there. And then on the y-axis, it's there. 
what will be this point? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But since we're on the left, this is negative 5. And this one is above the origin, so that's 1. So therefore, our coordinates are negative 5, 1. Okay, next, letter B. For letter B, the number on the x-axis, this is 3, right? This is 1, 2. Oops, we're on the left, so it's negative. Okay, and then here on the y-axis, that's below, so this is negative 2, correct? This is negative 1 and then negative 2. Understand? So what is this point? On the x-axis, you have negative 3. On the y-axis, you have negative 2. And last number, for letter C. Okay, on the x-axis, what is this? Again, this is 1, 2. And then on the y-axis, draw a horizontal line going to the y-axis. What is that? 1, 2, 3. Right? So, what is that point? The x, the number, x coordinate is 2, this one, and the y coordinate is 3. Next, let us plot the following points. So, for the first one, we have negative 4, 8. So, always look at the first number. Where do you, what, where, what axis do you look at? You look at the x axis. This is my x, this is my why okay so negative four where is that from the origin you go four units to the left right one two three four but we're not yet done and then you have eight so that means you go up eight points one two three four five six seven eight actually somewhere here so that is now your point. Okay? Another way to also do that is, let, let, let me do that for the next point. 2, negative 5. First, you locate your 2 on the x-axis. Where is 2? This is 2. I should write the labels. 1, 2, 3. This is negative 4. This part here is 8. Okay. So locate 2 on the x-axis, 2, and then on the y-axis, locate negative 5. So this, since that's negative, you go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, correct? This is negative 5. And then what you do is make from 2, do some sort of rectangle. Okay, and this is now your point, 2, negative 5. Is that clear? So again, what did I do? I located 2 on the x-axis. That was here. And then negative 5 on the y-axis. And then make lines. And the point where they intersect, that will be the point that you are looking for. Now let us talk about quadrants. If you look at your Cartesian plane over here, because of your vertical um, and horizontal line, the plane gets divided into four parts. This one here is your quadrant one. So as you can see here in quadrant one, what can you say about the points here? The x-coordinates, so in this case, the x-coordinates are positive and the y-coordinates are positive. Correct? Because here, if you will look at the x-axis here, the numbers here are positive, and the y-axis here, it's positive. Correct? Whereas, this one is called your quadrant 2, and what can you observe about the points here? For example, if I get a point here. What is this point again? This point here is, look at your x-axis, so that's negative 5, and then for your y-axis, correct, that is 30. Understand? So, in general, here in quadrant 2, your x-coordinates are negative and your y-coordinates are positive. Next quadrant, we have quadrant 3. So, in this case, you will look at the x and the x-coordinates and y-coordinates here. 
they are both negative. So here, x and y are negative. And then lastly, in our quadrant 4, if you will look at the x coordinates here, they are positive, but the y coordinates are negative. Okay. Now, for example, in what quadrant do the following points lie? No need to um, actually plot the points. Okay, let's look at letter A. 3, negative 2. So, it says that x is positive. So, you're on this side. Understand? But, it says here that your y is negative. So, therefore, you cannot be in quadrant 1. So, what's the answer? The answer is you are in quadrant 4. Understand? Next, letter B. 215. Take note that both x and y are positive. And where does that occur? It occurs in quadrant 1. Next, letter C. Negative 4, 7. So, since your x coordinate is negative, you are either in 2 or quadrant 3. But, your y is positive. Um, between quadrant 2 and 3, which of these quadrants contain positive y coordinates? That's this one, correct? So, the answer there is quadrant 2. Okay, next, let me just erase the things that I have written here. Last, we have negative 5, negative 8. So, in this case, both x and y are negative, right? So, where is that? What quadrant is that? That lies in quadrant 3. Okay, let's have a quiz. So, please pause your video so that you can see the questions and also um, comment your score on the comment section below. Here are the answers in our quiz. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also watch for more videos here.